today I wanted to do a video on some products that I have added to my collection. Liquid lipstick. I've been wanting this liquid lipstick for a while. Not this one particularly, but I wanted um, um, a liquid lipstick from Huda Beauty because um, I heard good things about it. There's been good reviews, plus the colors looked really nice. So I did get this at Sephora. Now this is um, a lip contour kit and um, I wanted to get like the individual ones, the bigger ones, but they didn't have them. They only had like the lip gloss. So I just got uh, this one. I really do like the colors and it also comes with the lip liner. So this is how it looks and this one is the Trophy Wife. So I like both of them and then they look good put together as well. So this one's Trophy Wife. I really like it. It's really pretty and I love the way it stays on your lips. Like, and it's not drying because you know how um, liquid lipsticks, they can be very drying. These are not drying at all. And this is the other one. So this one is Muse. And then the lip liner not sure what color this is. Oh, this one's Trophy Wife as well. So then these would go together by themselves, or you can do the contour. Um, so yeah, it's the same color, Trophy Wife. And I really like Trophy Wife the most. Like, look, right now, they're dry. Look how they look. They're very pretty. As we are talking about a lip product, let me go ahead and continue with lip products. So my next thing that I got that is also new is this... Um, glitter flip that's what it's called really liked how like you put it on and then after it dries you put your lips together and then you let it go and then you see all these little glitters it looks really pretty and then something I tried out because you know how when you um, get glitter products like lipstick or lip gloss like it gets everywhere like you'll see it like on your face or if you kiss your kids or your husband or your boyfriend like you see it on them I did give my husband a kiss to see if it would transfer over to his lips and there is maybe like one glitter so definitely it stays on your lips and it does yeah so this color that I got was forbidden I'll give you a swatch um so it's like a really dark color um. <coughs> but I think it's really pretty so it's that one right there. And of course you can't see the glitter right now. Okay, so another thing that I got. So Too Faced was having a 65% off sale on certain products. Um, and I believe it's like, it was mostly like old, um, old collections. Like maybe from Christmas or um, just collections that are already passed. Um, things I got was this Melted Matte Limited Edition Lip Gloss. And this is the Peppermint Mocha Scented one. And I believe this one's called Candy Cane. And I really do like the way that it smells. Because it really does smell like freaking peppermint coconut. I mean <laughs> peppermint coconut. Peppermint Mocha. There you go. It smells really good. Mm, okay. Like you know when you get like a Starbucks drink. And it's like the holiday one. The like mint mocha. Or um. I'm not, I think they have like a peppermint mocha one. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure. So, it's this color right here. And it also tastes good. Not that like I purposely tasted it, but I put it on and then like it tastes sweet like candy cane. Just saying. So that's another lip product. Let's see what else did I get. Okay, so that's all my lip products. Okay, oh, now since I got that stuff for the sale, I got the... Actually, I didn't get this one on sale. This one, I got it at Sephora um, just yesterday. I wanted to try another primer, so I got the Hangover. Hangover, and it has coconut water. I am using it right now, but it's been a pretty hot day, so don't know how it's holding up. And let's see what else from Too Faced. Oh, yeah. 
I got this totally cute palette. And it is totally cute. See? So it comes with stickers and you can put them on yourself. Um, and I had my daughter decorate it. So these are the colors and they're really cute colors. And I'm actually wearing some right now. So that's the palette that I got on the sale. Something else I got on the sale is this Passport to Bronze. So it's a trio of bronzers. And it does come with this cute little brush. And... Oh, I also bought these three. Three of them. Let me show you the colors. So this one is Milk Chocolate Soleil. It's light, medium, matte bronzer. As you can see. And then I got this. Um, it's called Sun Bunny. And it's nat natural bronzer. And this one has like some shimmer to it. And then I got this Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. That's the color. So yeah, I really like those from Sephora or High End. This is um, a mascara that I've seen a lot of uh, good reviews about. So I wanted to try it off myself. So this is the L'Oreal Paris uh, Voluminous Lash Paradise. And... Um, the first time I tried it on, I didn't see anything special about it. I was like, okay, like, there's not much to this mascara. It's just a regular mascara. Like, I don't see, like, it making my eyelashes go, like, you know, sky high or whatever. Um, so I was like, eh, it's just, I guess it doesn't work for me. So I wanted to give it another try, and I did put it on, like, three times. So the thing about this mascara is that it's very buildable. So you could put it on as many times. Well, I mean, I haven't tried it more than three times. So you could put it on up to three times that I know of, and they won't get clumpy, and your eyelashes will look, like, pretty up there. And you can see, like, volume in them um, pretty good, and it builds up. And it doesn't get all clumpy. So that's that. Now, let's see. What else did I get? I also got this, um, it's this Peter Thomas Roth, um, what is this? It's a toner. So this toner, actually, um, I went into Sephora and I was trying to, um, get this foundation and the girl at Sephora did help me get the color that I wanted for my foundation. Apparently, it's supposed to help with your wrinkles and, like, your pores and an uneven skin tone. That's what it says here. And to tell you guys the truth, I've tried it maybe for, like, a week, and I have seen the difference. I'm not sure if maybe it's because I started using primer that my skin's looking different. But even when I don't use primer, my foundation still looks good. And I do feel it's because of this and also because of the moisturizer I've been using. So again, this is a Peter Thomas Roth toner. And it has made some changes for me, I feel. I'm going to use it longer and see how much more it changes. Like my skin. And then I, I'll let you guys know. But, so the moisturizer that I was talking about, which is new as well, is this one right here. And I got this one. And I did get it in the small one because I wanted to see if it was going to work as good as they were saying it works. Because it was $50, the big one. So I was like, I'll just get, you know, a little sample one or a small one to make sure it works for me. And, yeah. Because I have, like, other moisturizers already. So it's like, I want to make sure that I, I have room to use moisturizers. So this does not have a scent. It does not smell like anything. Which is also a good thing because I know people have like sensitive skin and they don't want anything with like um like um like a smell to them. So it doesn't smell like anything and it actually feels really good on the skin. Like let's see. It feels really good, and it does not leave your face sticky, it does not leave it oily, um, it does not leave it, like, dry, like, after it dries, like, it, it feels really good. So I do recommend getting, like, the small size, so that you can try it out and see if it works for you, and if it works for you, 
tablets. And if it works for you, then definitely getting the big one. Because it is good to invest on like a good moisturizer um, for your face. Like if you like to wear makeup or if you like to maintain, you know, your face to look young, I do recommend that. Okay. So that was that. And so the main reason that I had gone to Sephora and I ended up getting that was to get a new foundation. And I wanted to try this new foundation because I don't have a favorite foundation. So I just wanted to try this one and see how it worked. So this one is um, the YSL foundation. And it does work really good. You have to use... Um, because it is full coverage, so you have to use enough of it. So if you use this, it smells... I can't really smell too much right now, but it smells really good. Like, it smells fresh. I just like the way it smells. So, I mean, I do recommend it. Like, obviously, like... Whoa. Obviously, like, if you can get, like, a little sample, you should try a sample, or you should also, like, maybe have them try it on your face and make sure you get the right color I do like that foundation so if you're looking for a good foundation and you don't mind the price definitely try that one out and it is new it, it just came out I don't know when but it's one of the new ones out there and another thing I got was this um, Kat Von D brush now I this brush look how pretty it is I love it I really like it and it's really soft so I couldn't pass it even though I don't need it but look it's so fluffy so yeah so I got this brush and I haven't used it yet so we'll see how it works I'm pretty sure it'll work just fine